So for this recipe, you need Oreo cookies. I, I'm using double stuff, but that, that's just because that's what I have. It, it doesn't really mean anything. It doesn't do anything for this recipe. I have some condensed milk. I have some Nutella. I have here a mixture of heavy cream and milk. I've also got my blender ready because you do need your blender. And I've got my popsicle molds here ready to go. Now, to my milk here and heavy cream um, mixture, I added in my Nutella. Sad to say, but I don't have much Nutella left. Now I'm going to add in the condensed milk to that, just because it's easier. Just add it all in there. Mm. My little treat, of course. Don't tell me you don't do that. Anyway, so now we're gonna add that to our blender. There we go. We're gonna put this into our blender. See how all that Nutella goodness came out? That's where we want it. And now, to that, we're gonna add our cookies. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna crush up some cookies. Okay, I want them to blend in and uh, try to crush your cookies into it without, um, clean my hands here, without the white stuff in the middle. We don't want all of that in there because then um, our cup, our, why was I going to say cupcakes? Our mixture is going to be too sweet. Remember we added the condensed milk and we don't want that. So just about a couple of cookies there, that's perfect. Put a lid on it, give it a few pulses, and that's it. So we actually want the chunks of um, cookies into our popsicle molds. just gonna fill these I don't know but mine tells me up to where I need to fill it and I don't want to fill it too much because I'm going to add in the Oreo cookies now to some of these I'm gonna add the whole cookie to some I'm just gonna add half of one of the cookies and so on and there we go Get these babies filled up. There we go. And remember the recipe. Um, it's down below in the description box. I actually think I might have overfilled these a bit. But here we go. Oops. Wrong way. Wish you would stay down, little cookie. And now these babies are ready to go into my freezer overnight. Um, however, you can leave them between five to six hours. I have never done them for less than five hours, so I cannot tell you if they will freeze well. For to me, the best thing is six to eight hours or overnight. So. Today, let's say today's Friday. Tomorrow, Saturday, you know, the kids, the family gets together. These are perfect for the weekend, for Sunday. You have a special treat if you have guests coming over. So let's pop these babies into the freezer. So my popsicle were in the, um, refer in the freezer overnight. Take a look at this beauty. Look how you can see the Oreo cookie. See you there? Oh, these are going to be so good. This is, I mean, how can you, can you get better than this? Nutella and Oreo. Uh, there are no words. I don't think it could get better than that ever. And I'm running out of Nutella. Oh, look at that. Take a look at that. See how you can see the cookie? The Oreo through that? 
amazing. And there you have it guys, my Oreo and Nutella popsicle molds, or should it be Nutella Oreo popsicle molds? I don't know, whatever. The recipe is down below in the description box. Um, this is really, really simple and easy to make. Again, this is a special treat for you know your family, your friend, your kids. Today is Saturday, I have people coming over. This is a special little dessert that's gonna go well with my um, chicken and dumpling soup. You gotta stay tuned for that recipe. It's a rainy day here, so there's nothing better than a little comforting soup. Until next time, thanks for watching.